In today's video, I'll show you how we can create the virtual machine in Proxmox. You can simply log into your Proxmox virtual environment and simply go ahead in top right corner, click on create VM. VM ID, which is automatically assigned. You can give any ID of your choice. For example, if I give 555, so this can also be given and then you can give a name, for example, Syncbrix tutorial. If you want to assign the tags, which will help you to identify for which purpose you created this VM for tutorial. And I can add multiple tags here or I can assign existing tags also. So I'll be creating, for example, as these are two tags which I have assigned. And then I click next, how you want to install the OS and from where you want to install the OS. If you do not want to install right now, so you'll be clicking, do not use any media. Otherwise, if there is a physical CD or DVD drive connected to this computer, you can use that. Otherwise, you'll be choosing the particular operating system. So I'll be installing, for example, any operating system which is available as an ISO image. The ISO image which is uploaded is in the local drive. The ISO image is, for example, Ubuntu 22.04. In case you are installing Windows, so you can choose Microsoft Windows from here. If you want to install Solaris, so you'll be using Solaris for all other Linux flavors. So you'll be choosing Linux here because this particular installation is for Ubuntu. So I'll be choosing Ubuntu. If you are installing Windows on your virtual machine, so you will be choosing Windows from here and then you will choose which particular windows version you are using so automatically compatible drivers will be installed i'll be choosing linux here and click next then is the system you can keep this as default and here are the scuzzy controllers word io so we'll choose this one and we'll not make any changes here machine and bios will remain default in case you want to use the ovmf which is uefi bios so you can use that otherwise leave it default so with default settings, then we'll go here next and choose the disk. Make sure that you choose a proper storage. So here is storage where I want to add the disk to. So this is local LVM. I'll be adding 32 GB of the disk for this particular VM, which is fine and choose all other as default. Let's click next. Then we'll be choosing CPU in case you want to have multiple cores for this particular machine. So you'll be choosing that. Right now, total cores assigned are one. So I can assign two or three or whatever cores of the CPUs. It will be creating virtual CPUs. We'll be choosing two core. Click next. Here you'll be adding the memory. So this is RAM. So right now, 2048, which is 2 GB of the RAM is assigned to this virtual machine. In case you want to add anything else, if you want to add more, you'll be choosing more. Otherwise, click next. And then is network. So I have two network bridges assigned here. So one is VMBR0, which is external network. VMBR1 is internal. So I'll be connecting with internal network. So I'll be choosing VMBR1. In case you want to configure any VLAN, so you'll be choosing that. Otherwise, you will be clicking next. Here is the model of your network card. You can go for Realtek, VMware, or Intel. Word IO will be working fine. I'll choose the model and click next. Finally, it will ask you for the confirmation. So I'll be clicking on finish. And once it will finish, it will load this 555 machine, which we have created. And once it is ready, it will be available here. Then you can go to hardware and see all the settings in case you want to add any additional hardware. For example, if I want to add a new network device here, so I'll be choosing VMBR0 as well and click add. Now you can see here two network devices are added. In case you want to remove any hardware from here, or if you want to add any hardware here, you can use add option here in case you want to protect this with firewall so built-in firewall in proxmox is available and once everything is done you can simply click on start and the virtual machine will start it will start booting from the cd you can see here we'll be following the step-by-step -step guide to install ubuntu on proxmox so hope you like this video see you next video take care and goodbye